Howdy, howdy, everybody. Hope all's going well. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've been able to make a movie or a video, but I uh, went out to Oklahoma to turkey hunt for a few days and, and then had to spend a few days in Texas for a meeting for work, but got a little job to do today that uh, won't be too bad, but the biggest part of it is going to be finding the logs that I need to get two cedar mantles out of and uh, they want them to be five inches by ten inches which is really not too bad except for being a cedar and being a cedar log uh, cedar tends to grow outward and then it'll grow around itself so you'll have some bark inclusions in there uh, sometimes it looks okay sometimes it doesn't but it makes it hard sometimes to find a good piece of wood. Um, typically you can't just cut them out of the middle with the pith because uh, usually on a cedar tree your pith is going to be rotten. But we've got five or six logs here, cedar logs, that uh, I'm going to pick a couple of them out and then we're going to move them down to the mill and come up with two mantles that are five inches by ten inches by six feet long and that ten inches is a little bit of play in there uh, they can be 9 to 10 and with a little bit of wane on them maybe, so we'll see what happens. But I do appreciate you watching uh, and hanging in there. Thank you to all my subscribers, all our veterans and our uh, uh, public safety folks. Thank you. Thank you for your service. So uh, hang in there. Here we go. Okay, so here's the problem. The two logs I thought I was gonna be able to use, from this end, both of them look great. Should be able to get it. But what I noticed on this particular log here is it's split all the way down the side. So that causes an issue. Goes all the way up. But I still might be able to get underneath of the split and get out 10 inches my only hope is that once I cut it open is that it will be solid and not rotted in there or any any big inclusions bark inclusions or whatever this one this one should be fine it has a big bark inclusion right here but I think I can still get uh, a good mantle out of that so
right here this was a much bigger log we I ended up switching it out this one was down here and uh, we were gonna cut some boards out of it for raised beds but it was gonna work out much better for these mantles <clears throat> but here's these inclusions I'm talking about this is where the trees grown around itself many years ago and that's bark in there and there's a big knot right there and there are some little ants in there but we can get rid of those but I cut this one at five inches so this is gonna be the first mantle I'll square off the top of it and that'll be one and then I'll cut another one from the other side to get off of the pith but this got some good figure in it down here they only need six feet this one is probably about eight so we'll let them have the whole thing and then they can figure out how they want the figure to fall so yeah looking pretty good Okay, I've got to be honest with you folks. I love cutting cedar and I hate cutting cedar. And the reason being is because you never know what's inside of it. It's the most frustrating wood I think I cut. So you get in there, you look, you got good looking wood, then all of a sudden you get in there and you got some rot. And you don't know how far it goes. You got your cuts figured out. And then all of a sudden, after you take a layer off, you discover something else. So. I'm gonna be able to get most of it out of here. 10 inches will be back in here. But then you get down into down into this, like it's gonna be on the end. It's just frustrating. Love, love cedar, but man, sometimes it just it just stinks. It smells good, but it stinks. So stand by.
cedar. I've cut cedar. It just ain't going to. And that six foot mark right in there. Yeah. That'll be fine. That's what I was thinking. All right, folks. Got the two mantles cut out of it. And here they are right here. Like I said, there's a lot of excess on the end. They can, they need six feet. They can figure out where they want the best out of it. Um, it does have a few spots on it with inclusions and whatnot, like that one right there. But I really like that. That thing looks awesome, I think. But and then we did get a bunch of uh, extra boards out of it. We'll use for uh, raised beds in the garden. And so, yeah, I appreciate. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thank you for my subscribers. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you don't, hit the thumbs down. Leave a comment what you think about cedar. Uh, I've got a love-hate relationship with it right now because the last couple logs I've cut have been, been frustrating trying to get some good material out of them. But anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day.